Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're gonna go ahead and make another simple pattern, the one that you see on the screen. Uh, so let's just get started. Go to file and new. Let's create a 5 into 5 inches CMYK and high 300 ppi document. Click on create. First we are going to create these elements and use this to create a pattern. I'll just copy this and paste it on my new artboard so that I have easy access to the colors. I will link all the colors in the description box below. You can go pick it up from there. First, we'll make this element right here because this is a little more complex than the others over here. Go to your rectangle tool. If you cannot see a rectangle tool, right click and then rectangle tool. Click and make a rectangle. Any rough size would do. Let's go ahead and cancel the stroke. And for fill, let's give in some color. For now, I'll just give this color and we can go ahead and change it later. Now, if you scroll right here, you can see a round button. So click on that and slightly turn it around so that it sits somewhat like this. Now hold your option or Alt, click, hold Shift and drag it down so that it comes and snaps nicely here. If you don't see those pink lines, you have to go to view and turn the smart guides on. I'll press command D to repeat that action. I'll scroll in a little bit and see that there are no white gaps between both. You can keep these gaps or you can get rid of them. Uh, it's totally your choice. But let me just keep them like this. I'll go to my second one and give a different color and a third one and another color. I'll click and select all these three. Right click, transform, reflect, let's choose vertical and then click on copy. Now click, hold your shift key down and drag it so that it comes and sits here exactly at this point. So sometimes you might move it a little bit like this or it might come and sit something like this. So one thing you have to make sure that this line right here and this line right here makes a perfect V shape. So Click shift. I'm going to drag it until it's nice and has a perfect V shape to it. This looks all right. Now let's make the leaf shape. Right click on your rectangle tool, click on ellipse. Now click and drag to make an ellipse. A little wide would do. I'll go to my anchor point tool. If you cannot see it, it's right click and anchor point tool. I'll Scroll up here and click on this point to make it a pointed edge. Now go back to your direct selection tool. Just click and drag it a little bit to make it a flat kind of a surface. I'll do the same thing here. This seems to be fine. Now go to your selection tool or press V on your keyboard. Click and place this here. As you can see, it does not completely cover it. So I'm just going to click and drag this to make it a little bigger and also a little wider. But make sure this leaf does not cross the design area, but stays within the design area. So just a little bit and it should be good. Now make a copy of this leaf by pressing Option or Alt, click and drag. We're going to use this later to make one of these leaves. Click and select all these things. Right click, make clipping mask. Now let's put a center line segment. Go to your line segment tool. Click on this point here. Hold your shift key down and drag it all the way up to the other point to make a line segment. Let's give a color to this. And go to stroke. If you cannot see it, you can go to window and then stroke. Everything you see here, you can find it under the window menu. So here I'm going to change it to rounded caps. Now click and select everything and press command or control G to group them together. Next, we'll make out this leaf. Let me put this aside. I'll take this leaf, which I created just now. And instead of fill, I'll change this to stroke. Next, I'll go to my line segment. From this point, I'll click. Hold my shift key and drag it all the way up till this point here. Now I'll go back to my line segment again. Click and hold your shift key to make a perfect angle. 
and drag till it reaches the other end of the leaf. And let's make some of these here. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Go back to your selection tool. Once everything is ready, click and select everything and group them together. Now you can make a copy of it by pressing Option or Alt key down, click and drag. And this one, we're going to change the color to something else. And since our yellow is very muted, I'm just going to click on this, go to my stroke and change the stroke to about two point to make it a little thicker. You could do the same thing here as well, to just to give it a different kind of a look if you want. But let's keep it that way. And I'll just click on this, make one more copy and give it a little lighter green color. And this looks smaller, so make it a little smaller. And now let's arrange these elements exactly like this. So first comes this one. I'm just going to put it like that. And let's take the yellow and use the rotate icon here to rotate it a little bit. And this one make a copy and reduce the size by holding your shift key down and then rotate it a little bit. Okay, so make sure you arrange this like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep this somewhere else so that we won't use it right now. So our base pattern is ready. So let's go ahead and convert this into pattern. Now click and select the elements that you want to be a part of the pattern. Go to object, pattern and make. Click OK. So now it's time to adjust these things. Let's go ahead and select hex by column. This is something I think might look good. I think hex by row looks better. Let's choose this. But there's a lot of gap between elements, so we're going to go ahead and fix that first. So click on pattern tile tool and let's reduce the tile of the pattern and a little bit here as well. But this one overlaps. So I will do this, but I will change it later on. Okay, and let's go ahead and edit those things. Go back to your selection tool and you can click on this and reduce the size using your shift key down and move it a little bit and probably turn it around as well. Let's make a few more elements. For example, this one right here, Control C and Control V to copy. Hold your shift key down, click and make it tinier. And you can rotate this as well. And let's move this right here. There's so much gap right here, so I think it'll be nice to have something. So let's go ahead and um, select this one. And hold your option and click and drag to make a copy. And let's make this a little tiny. Turn around. A little tinier. Okay, and there's a gap right here, so I'm just going to click on this one and make a copy and increase this the size a little bit and turn it around this way. Okay, once you're satisfied with your uh, pattern you can click on done and now let's just go ahead and check how this one looks right click on your rectangle tool click and drag to make a rectangle you should know that the pattern that you just created is transparent because we didn't have a background right here and that's always the best thing to do because then you can decide on whatever color you want later so I'm just going to choose a rectangle and use a fill for this I'll use a really dark color just because I like it. And we need to go ahead and make another rectangle on top. Therefore, Command or Control C to copy. Command or Control F to paste on top. Now go to your swatches. Again, this is under Window and then Swatches. And click on the pattern that you just created. And there you go. Your pattern is ready.
Okay, so we just learned how to create a simple leafy pattern in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, just give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Also go check out my blog because I usually give out freebies out there. And do check out my Instagram as well. So I guess I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.